Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars. So you want to learn some beginner basic cigar box guitar terminology, huh? I thought I heard somebody say that. If you want to learn how to play a cigar box guitar, the first thing you need to do is learn your way around one, learning the basic parts and the terminology. Now I know there's a lot of you out there that already know these terms, but this is to help the people who might not know all the parts of the guitar. And this is to help them out. Before I go grab my guitar, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button below and don't forget to like and share this video. And if you'd like to support this channel, there is a link in the description below. Now let's go get that guitar and get started. This is the outdoor classroom today, folks. What we have here is a cigar box guitar. Now the two main components in the cigar box guitar is the neck and the body. In this case, the body of the guitar would be the cigar box. Now on this end of the neck, we're going to start over here. This part of the neck here is called the headstock. Now the headstock contains your tuners, tuning pegs, tuning machines. They're called in different things. Now going up a little farther, you have what is called the nut. Now the nut could be different things. It could be a little screw. It could be made of bone. It could be a bigger bolt. It could be made of wood. It could be made of plastic. But at least you know this here is the nut. It's the, the thing that the strings go over first from the tuning pegs. It hits the nut first. And now that you know what a nut is, if somebody ever asks you, hey, what kind of nut do you like on your cigar box guitar? Now you don't have to say macadamia. Now this board right here that is going on, sitting on top of the neck, that's known as your fingerboard or your fretboard. And it will hold your frets, which are these little metal things that go up and down the fretboard or fingerboard, which changes the pitch of the string. When you push, push the string down here, it changes the pitch because it shortens the string. Now these little dots here in the middle those are called position markers and they could be in in lots of different forms these happen to be burned in with a soldering iron but they could be inlaid they could be screws on the side here these dots here are called side dot markers because when you're playing the guitar and looking down this way you have these side dot markers which tells you tells you where you're at on your fingerboard whether you're at the 3rd, 5th, 7th, ninth fret. Same thing with the position markers here. The double dots will usually mean the 12th fret, which is half the distance between the nut and the bridge. And we'll get to that in a second. Now as you come down the guitar here, usually a cigar box guitar will have holes. These are sound holes. That's where the sound comes out, obviously. And here you have the bridge. Here's the nut, here's the bridge. Now the bridge can be different things as well. This one here is made out of wood and a piece of fret wire. You can have a, what is called a hard tail bridge like this. You can have bolts, you can have all sorts of things you can use for a bridge. Let me just add one more thing about the bridges. This one here is known as a floating bridge, which means it's not attached to the guitar at all. It can be moved around up and back or sideways to fine tune the guitar. This one here is known as a hard tail bridge. This one would be bolted to the guitar, which means it doesn't move. It's a hard tail bridge. It's stationary to the guitar and you fine tune it with these little screws back here and these little settings here. Now, something else you'll hear about on guitars is the scale length. Now the scale length would be from the nut to the bridge. How many inches is it from the nut to the bridge is known as your scale length. This one here happens to be 23 inches. So from the nut to where the strings go over the bridge is 23 inches. And your 12th fret right here should be in the middle of the scale length, which, is, which would be an octave from the open string.
Now here I have a strike plate. This is known as the tailpiece. This holds the strings at the end of the guitar, which goes up and around the tuning pegs. Here, because this guitar is acoustic electric, it does have a round disc pickup under this bridge here. It will plug in right here. This is known as the output jack. Not the input jack, the output jack, because the sound is, the signal is coming out of the guitar into the amp. Remember, output jack, not input jack. And this here is a volume knob for the guitar. Pretty simple. Now something else you might find different on different cigar box guitars, and that's the pickups that are in the guitar which amplify the sound. Like I said, this one here has a disc pickup, or it's called a piezo pickup, inside the box under the bridge, which amplifies the sound from within the box. This one here has a double coil magnetic pickup, also known as a humbucker pickup like an electric guitar would have. So this one has an electric guitar pickup and this one has a piezo pickup. Now between that piezo pickup and the humbucker pickup, what would be the difference in the sound? Well, let's go see. I'm gonna be using my dusty Line 6 Spider Classic 15 amp for this demonstration. And there are the settings. First we'll do the one with the piezo pickup on the inside. I do have it tuned to an open G, which is G, D, G. I have this one tuned to an open E, E, B, E. After listening to both of those with my very own ears, I think they uh, both sound great. Well, I hope this cigar box guitar terminology has helped somebody out out there. If so, please tell me in the comments. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos coming up right after this one. My name's Michael, and I'll see you in the next one.